Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi, and let's dream about beauty. Before we get into our video for today, we have a word from our sponsors. Hello, friends. Okay, bye. She was in here when I was getting ready to film and she's like, let me say hi to everybody. So that's Kennedy, my daughter, and hopefully she will be with us soon to film her fox eye tutorial because she is a rock star at doing the fox eye look. Uh, today I have a get ready with me using a few new makeup things, in particular the Nude Gasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury and the It's a Mood palette from Colourpop. So if you're interested in seeing these two items in use, then just keep on watching. So I don't have any new foundations, so I went ahead and did my base makeup and my powder. I have not any new powder. Um, so I used the Lorac foundation, which I really like. I was just using it, I haven't used it in a while, and using it, it reminded me of how much I like it. And then I used um, my favorite Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect. Um, uh, setting powder so yeah that's what I've got on so far also did my eyebrows because I don't have a new eyebrow pencil although um, I have to say I did buy the Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil a few months ago and I was quite surprised at how fast it ran out so I definitely don't recommend that pencil it's not very much product for the price anyhow a little bit of Red Bull I'm feeling a little tired today Kennedy and I have been doing a Marvel movies marathon just because um, well, we, re we recently watched The Black Widow and some of the um, trivia, like some of the things in it, I don't understand what's happening. So we decided to go back and start watching from the beginning just so that I would understand all the references throughout the movies. Anyways, we are on, I think the next one is Thor Dark World is the one we're going to watch next. So I'm excited to watch that and anyhow that's the reason I'm tired is because we were up late last night watching movies um okay so geez I feel a little bit out of practice with this um, I think that I'm pretty well Let's zoom in a little bit more uh, I'm feeling quite warm um so let's start out with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, face palette. So this is what it looks like. So there is a highlighting shade, a blush, and then two bronzing shades or um, what am I trying to say? Contouring shades. So I'm going to dig into Let's see, I'm just swatching both of the contouring shades slash bronzing shades. They look quite similar, but I'm going to use this one to contour and then I'm going to use this one to bronze. And we'll see how that goes. Um, so I will pull out. Oh, oops, just one moment. I forgot some brushes. Okay, so I'm going to use my Refer 4 brush. This is the brush I use for contouring. Put it in this shade. This is the first time I'm using this. I seem to have gotten quite a good little bit on my brush. Going in again. pretty good. Okay, let's get the bronzer brush. We'll go in with this bit of a lighter shade. I'm going to bronze my forehead.
moves a little bit. Chin. Um, yeah, these are beautiful and they are blending really, really nicely. Okay, so now I am going to go using my Refer 5 brush, I'm going to go into this blush shade. That's really pretty and quite pigmented. I don't have the Glowgasm as I mentioned. Uh, when it was available it wasn't really on my radar and then I saw um, Paulina from Paulina Beauty talking about it and she wanted it and that made me look it up and I'm like oh that's so pretty and I wished I'd gotten it but unfortunately it was discontinued. Okay now let's do the highlighter. Oh, I have something in my eye. Oh, that's really pretty. I think that looks great. So I'm going to figure out what's in my eye. I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, that is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Palette, and I think it's really pretty. Um, I, they blended well, the shades are nice. Um, I'd like to try going in with a, uh, a blush and then a blush and then using this as a blush topper, but yeah, I think it looks really good. Okay, so now moving on to the it's a mood palette. I am so overly warm. I'm looking forward to colder temperatures. I miss the days when I open the window and it's instantly freezing in here. <laughs> ah, delicious. All right. So next up, we've got the um, It's a Mood palette by ColourPop. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six basic color schemes you can go with. And I'm having trouble trying to decide which one I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one, kind of pinky burgundy one. So we're going to start out with the shade called Everywhere, which is this one, through my crease. I'm going to get my trusty old JH32. My eye lids are not set. So we're going to run this through the transition. Just windshield wipes back and forth, back and forth. Try not to bring it down too low over here, trying to keep it up high. No outer corner so that I'm not going below the imaginary line right here, which I sometimes do. I don't like it that way. So this isn't uh, going on as pinky as I was expecting. It's quite a bit more um, orange toned, sort of orangey undertones to this color. I'm just going to do the other side. These shadows are blending beautifully. I think I'm going to get a new brush. 
another JH32, and I'm going to go into, there's not too much kick up in the pan, but there's a little bit you can see, but I'm going to go into, I want it to be a little bit more neutral, so I'm just going to go in with this one as well, which is called Midnight Run. Let's see if I can cool this look down a little bit. It really bugs me actually when colors in the palette don't end up, because I mean you can see that's really warm there on the eyes, but you know in the pan it doesn't look, I don't think anyways, as warm as what it's going on on the eyes. So hopefully this will help uh, neutralize it a bit. How many uh, Marvel fans do we have out there? I love the Marvel movies. But I'm really bad, like I have a terrible memory when it comes to movies. So it's like I watch it a year later, it's like I've never watched it before. I have the same thing with books. Books, I read them and a couple years later I have no memory of what I read. Which is good I guess because then you have you know, an extensive library of books you can read all the time. I am a voracious book reader, that's for sure. I read probably three books a week, and my favorite genre is fantasy. The book I'm currently reading, I can't think of what it's called, but it's based in the Vikings time. It has magic and creatures and all kinds of fun stuff. War and warriors and... Uh, one thing I like about it is that the women are warriors as well. So some of the protagonists are women, female, uh, women, female. That's redundant. Uh, are female warriors? So that makes me happy. I think my religion on uh, my Facebook says warrior princess. <laughs> All right. So let's move into this shade here called. Fascination, which is this dark burgundy, and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use a smaller brush, probably this small blending brush from Refrical, it's the number 14. So remember with the darker the shade, the deeper the shade, the smaller the brush should be. So I'm going to get this into the, my crease and outer corner. Mmm, this is pigmented. Again, I'm trying to picture an imaginary line right here and then not go over that. I don't care too much what happens on this side of the blend because this is where the um, shimmer is going to go. So I pay attention more to the outside of the blend in this area here. Do the other side. And often when I'm doing this part of my eye, it's a combination of dabbing, like dabbing it on, and also little tiny blending motions. I don't tend to take this darker shade and blend it too high or too much into my crease because when I take a clean brush and blend it out, what happens is, is that the, the clean brush will pick up a little bit of the darker shade and blend it through. So I just put it up in there just a little bit.
so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and forth with this color until I'm satisfied. Then I'm going to blend it out with a clean blending brush through the transition and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now I'm going to take another clean brush and I'm going to blend out the top blend part up here. I have multiples of my favorite brushes. I don't use a color switch. Okay, so now a um, little bit of fallout right under here, which is okay. I'm gonna take this small Morphe brush and I'm gonna try and deepen up the corner just a little bit more with this dark brown. So I guess I'm actually using a combination of two rows in the palette. Okay, on the other side. Hopefully I was in frame for that. Sometimes I get a little too involved in the actual makeup part and I forget that I'm filming. Does that ever happen to you guys? If you have a channel, do you ever forget that you're filming and you get so involved in the makeup application? Okay. Now I'm just gonna go back over with the burgundy. Okay, sweep away some of this fallout, and then let's move on to the shimmer shade. So the shimmer shade that we're going to use is this one called Reunion. That's what it looks like. Okay, I just needed to get my uh, spray for this shimmer. I hope that goes on quite opaque looks promising. Clean off the ferrule and let's go in. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Wow. It's quite a bit more an orange sort of base. It looks very pink. It comes out, it's almost like tangerine, sort of. My beautiful friends, uh, um, Nona and Lisa, would love these. I was going to say Angie. I don't know why I was going to say Angie. Well, I was thinking of Angie from 4F Beauty because I was thinking about when I was cleaning the ferrule. That's what she always says to do. Okay, so now I'm going to take a small little liner brush and I'm going to go underneath my eyes, my lower lash line, with the burgundy and the dark brown. Try to stay in frame. Now I'm going to use, this is called High Brow Glow from Benefit. I'm just going to, oops, not do that. 
I should have paid a little more attention to what I was doing there. In the inner corner. All right, I'm gonna do some mascara and some eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, so I was going to do, well, first of all, I wanna ask. So considering I use mostly this row, are you surprised that I got such a warm look out of this row? Did you think it would be cooler or did you think it would go like this? I thought it was going to be a cooler look, but I'm not mad at this one. I think it looks really pretty. Um, you know, a little bit of that hint of burgundy in there does cool things down a bit, but otherwise it's, yeah, it's pretty. I was going to use my new Kim KW um, lipstick along with the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Eyeliner, um, but... I don't know if this will go with this look. I'll, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pick uh, a lipstick. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my MAC Half Bread uh, Lip Liner and then my MAC Powder, because this is new, um, shade Work Work Work, so it's a of a neutral red. This is how it's swatched. Looks more cool toned in the swatch than it does the actual lipstick. So let's try and do this without... Let's see if I can bring my, my mirror closer. Not even in frame. Still not in frame. It is hard to do lip liner on camera. All right, let's go in. That's pretty. I didn't apply it very well. I'm gonna work on cleaning it up a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the finished look and I'm pretty happy with everything that I used. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury palette I think is gorgeous. I blended easily, it's pigmented, it was, you know, it was easy to use. Um, I think it looks flattering. The It's a Mood palette, pigmented, not a lot of kick up in the pans that I found. Some, but not, you know, it wasn't terrible. Uh, went on well, easy to blend, easy to use. You know, my only complaint was is that I didn't think that the color in the pan was true to the color that resulted on the eyelids. So, you know, if I was uh, going out somewhere and I didn't want to have such a warm look I might be a little upset that I you know it looked more neutral sort of pink leaning in the pans and then to have it um, come out like that warm is just misleading to me um, 
but as long as you know that that's what you're gonna get so highly recommend swatching it out first on your arms just to see you know what it's gonna look like and then and then planning your look that way um, the lipstick this is the oh my god I can't believe I ran out of time my camera just shut off because I hit 30 minutes and this was supposed to be a 15 minute video <sighs> anyhow I will edit it down so it won't be that long anyhow I was gonna say very comfortable lip formula these powder kiss lipsticks I'm very impressed and it's a beautiful red work 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 is what it's called w-e-r-k and the liner also is very nice too uh, it's highly recommended by Ali art if you don't watch her you should she is amazing um, and that's it for me for today so Time is our most precious resource, and when you spend a little bit of your precious time with me, I really appreciate it. I hope wherever in the world you are, that you're well, that you're healthy, that you're happy. I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, comment down below, uh, maybe a thumbs up for me, and thank you to my sponsor, Kennedy. <laughs> I'm kidding, she didn't sponsor this video, but she was cute and she said hello, so that was really sweet. So thank her for popping in and that's it for me for today. So take care and bye-bye.